You know, so often people ask, does God heal today? Is his word true? Does he move in miracles? Can your body be made whole? Can your mind be set free? Can your home be set free? And I'm here to tell you today that yes, it can. Because the Jesus that you and I serve is still the same today as he was yesterday, and he'll be the same forever. The whole goal, though, is that we press in in faith, and we believe God for his word. We stand on his promises. We press through the one who forgives all of our iniquities and also heals all of our diseases. Church, when you and I are willing to step up and trust God that he is our healer, put a demand in faith on his word, then my God is pleased and heaven can move according to what's been declared. So often in the Bible, we see so many people who are, who are being ministered to by Jesus, and all Jesus would say is, according to your faith. In other words, the anointing for healing was there, the power of God was there, and all they had to do was draw from it. Church, can you and I get to the place of allowing the presence of God to minister your home, maybe you need deliverance in your house, maybe deliverance in your body, healing in your body, healing in your home, or maybe a marriage, or, or maybe your kids are backslid. The power of God is present always if we are willing to receive it and allow the Holy Spirit to demonstrate Jesus Christ. Now, one of the things which is always exciting, that when we are standing word ministries and we do our live stream programs and we have services here, is when we get results, when, when people actually let us know that prayer went to work and somebody got healed, somebody got set free, somebody got delivered. In fact, just about a week or so ago, we had a woman come forward in the service, and she was seven months pregnant, and she's about 40 years old. She was a little older. And the problem was that the doctors had told her that her entire placenta was, was so far off that she could not have the baby normally. In fact, she would have to have a cesarean section. Of course, they came forward fearful and, you know, and concerned. Well, when we went to prayer, here's how we prayed. We prayed that God would actually literally shift the placenta back inside her womb to the normal way. You know, some people say, that's bold, but is that not what you want? So we prayed literally that God would shift the placenta so that everything would be normal so, so that she could have that baby. And she went home, and she went to the doctor just recently, and the doctor was amazed. He said, my goodness, the placenta has shifted completely. You are normal. You can have this baby just like anything else. And Amanda, I speak the kingdom of God into you. I spoke that placenta will stay the course. Things will begin to shift so that baby is normal. Bleeding stop in Jesus' name. See, folks, when we go to war in prayer, we have to believe that it is God's will to heal and to heal completely. Also, to deliver you and set you free. We had a, we had a young lady come forward, just one of our healing services, and her mother said that she was being demonically oppressed. Now, she, now she's a Christian. And she was seeing demonic activity. It was actually trying to manifest inside of her house. And when we began to pray, we, we stopped. We began to question some things. And we went after, is there any Ouija boards or tarot cards? Is there anything demonic or of the devil inside the home? And they had to look at each other. And they said, uh, my goodness, yes. Somebody in the home not only had had a Ouija board, but it actually had used the Ouija board. Folks, these things are not games. These are demonic. Devils are attached to these things. And this garbage will literally infect your home and it will infect your kids and it, will, and it will bring tremendous bondage to your household. Well, now that we called it out, we went to prayer and spoke the power of God to break that thing and loose that thing. And the girl said immediately she felt this oppression just lift from her. She got joy, holy laughter. She, she laughed all the way home. She had, she had the best night of sleep she'd ever had. And then the next day when that thing tried to show up, she had an anointing of boldness and she commanded it to go and it left. Church, it's great when we hear how God responds, how God sets somebody free, how God heals people. We had a, we, uh, we had a word of knowledge during one of our live stream programs and there was, that there was somebody out there that had a twisted spine. And I just saw this twisted spine. And, all we, and we prayed in faith and we spoke the word of God for this thing to untwist and this person to be set free. Now, because it's live stream, not always people, you know, they don't always respond right away. But we're praying for that. Somebody whose spine has been twisted for, I don't know if you were born with that twisted in the spine. Your spine is, so you're actually almost walking like this because there's a serious twist in your spine. As we pray for this, for, for, for this granddaughter to be healed from, from what happened in her, we speak, somebody go, somebody go like this.
Father, I speak that spine. Begin, I don't care if it makes noise or not. Father, I thank you. Begin to move that spine back into divine order. I thank you, Father. Everything is lining up. Oh my gosh, Jesus, I thank you. You line that thing up completely, 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 completely. But about a week later, a mother had messaged us and said, that word of knowledge was for my daughter. And my daughter had been hurt in an accident. I think it was like some kind of an accident, like sports. And her spine was actually twisted. And as you prayed and spoke the word of God, the whole thing lined up. And her daughter is completely made whole. Folks, we've seen lots of things like this happen. These are just a couple which just happened you know, just over a short period of time. God's word is to set you free. God's power is to set you free. Jesus wants you whole and he wants you whole and complete so you can be most effective. Cancers must be dried up. Diabetes has to be overthrown. Any kind of mental issues. In fact, we've, got a, well, we've had a person who was autistic. And when they came into the service, they could not even communicate whatsoever. We began to pray over this young man, and we noticed that there was changes. And the mother came back and said, my gosh, his whole world is turning around. He's communicating. He's talking with people. He started going to school, has friends got a job, and what we found out just recently, he's getting a driver's license. Now listen to me, from somebody that couldn't even communicate just months or so earlier, God had slowly opened up his mind because we went to war. Church, here's what I'm trying to tell every parent, every individual. When the body of Christ means business in the word of God, we can drive the power of darkness off of people's lives and watch them get healed and set free. My wife is an example of miracles. Four years ago or so, she came down with double pneumonia and ARDS. It came on so fast that her blood oxygen level was actually 39 when we got her into the hospital. The doctors were, were just totally thrown. They were doing everything they could. They gave her barely any chance of survival. And even though she was in a coma for a season, the word of God was constantly prayed in this house. I didn't let anybody near me who said, if it be your will. In fact, on the very second, probably within about the first week or so, someone came to me from the hospital and they said this to me. If your wife lives, if she lives, she will be on oxygen for the rest of her life. And not only that, she'll probably be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. And she's going to be in a nursing home for at least a year and a half in order to recover so that she might be able to walk again. He's talking about throwing somebody off. We went to war in prayer. I put prayer teams on. We spoke the word. Listen. You've got to get in a church where the word of God is being preached. You've got to get in the, in the church where people trust God's healing power. And that's exactly what we did. We went to war over my wife. We spoke the word of God over my life. And I'll tell you what, three weeks she woke up. Four weeks she was, out of, she was out of the hospital. She went into rehab, which was supposed to be a year and a half. Six weeks later, six weeks, not a year and a half. She walked out totally whole to the amazement of everyone. No trach, no feeding tube, on her own two feet, and she never needed it. Church, when we go to war, we'll see God's healing power. These are just an example of what God wants to do to your life and in your home. Are you sick? Do you have a need? Please come out to one of our services. Turn in, tune into one of our programs, and let's let the power of God begin to loose your home, loose your family, loose your house, Loose your kids so you can be whole and you can walk in the kingdom and the power of God. Hey, we love you. God bless you. Have an awesome day.